Hello. Yes, Mom, this is fake. For now. Hi everyone, today I am doing a different kind of video um, where I make something a little different. I tried not to give any hints in the beginning of this video, but it's going to be different. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm hating myself. But I decided I, to be completely honest, started this video from a position of I was going to do this really cool DIY um, with two pieces of clothing I'd recently purchased. The one pretty much completely went to shit and then I had this thing and I was like I'm looking at it and I put it on my mannequin and I started just kind of playing with it and lo and behold you were looking at what that process of me playing with it birthed um i have been seeing i'm going to assume it's like a designer or i don't know i feel like i've like seen this somewhere and i i'm really sorry that i don't know where it came from but i've been really like attached to like very patchwork very like spliced and like connected again kind of stuff lately in terms of clothing like I've been very that's very drawn to that segment of fashion I think it's very edgy and cool um, and I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Pinterest that is similar to that and I I'm really sorry again I didn't look at like I don't even think it's like a specific image I think I've just been seeing a bunch of stuff um, but this is kind of what was formed and I'm not gonna lie, at first I was just gonna go for a um, one shoulder and then like turn into like a dress on this side with like the plaid shirt or I guess striped shirt. Um, that's what it was gonna be. And then I just got intrigued by the idea of literally having half a shirt. So that's what you're looking at. <laughs> um, I've been really intrigued by this idea lately of kind of having pieces that are essentially larger accessories that you wear over clothing you already have to make it just elevated. So like if you're wearing just a tank top or a t-shirt or a dress and you want it to be different, but instead of buying a whole like new piece that you can only wear like as a jacket, why not buy pieces that are literally like large form accessories? Like in a sense, it is just another shirt, but I want it to be so like applicable to different outfits because I feel like it could be used in so many different ways. Well, like it would work with so many different outfits, essentially is what I'm saying. And I've been really drawn to this idea lately. And so this is kind of like the more of, this was a more altering thing that I did. Whereas there's one I'm working on that's completely from scratch. Um, I'm feeling these sleeves right now, so be ready for that in like some upcoming stuff where I'm just doing fun like scrunchy sleeves and like kind of altering the texture of this a little bit. So be ready for that if I do these in the near future, which I kind of plan on it. I really want to get into these like huge altering of secondhand or personal clothes that I have that I don't want to wear anymore. Because why am I buying new clothes when I have the ability to alter them? And so I really want to encourage people to buy secondhand, alter the clothes they already own, or you know something of the sort, or find a friend of the sewing machine who might be able to help you on a project, or whatever. Maybe your grandma will help you. Mom would probably look at me and go, why are we doing this? and I'd go cuz grandma I want to maybe it'll work maybe it won't let me know down below <laughs> um, but yeah so I'm gonna kind of do a little voiceover of how this went this video should be short because it's all gonna be voiced over and it was an interesting process and I hope this is the start of an interesting kind of thing I'm doing um, can you imagine like okay a boutique where it's like a lot of like weird edgy altered secondhand clothes or you can bring in or you like you can buy a secondhand piece of clothing and like have like a consultation and be like this is what I want to do with it if you don't think that you have the ability to create that I think that's kind of cool I really like that idea and I also just think this whole thing is like if you have a style 
why not just like go for it and create it yourself and i feel like that makes it even more you because you're like creating it as you go and i think i'm gonna stop talking now because i like to have 10 minute intros so yeah all right well i hope you really like this video i hope you're at least interested in like the idea of this i'm not i don't think many people are gonna love this and i don't blame anyone for that because i know it's a very it's a choice to <laughs> wear something like this so you know but i hope you're interested let me know what you think honestly down below because i've actually had a lot of fun and i kind of love it like i almost I say this all the time, like I hate that I love something because then I have to mentally prepare myself to explain myself every time I wear it. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do like, if I do a couple of like weird like altering pieces, I could do a styling video. I haven't done a styling video in so many years because I told myself I was done with fashion. Whew, we'll see. Let me know what you want to see. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> but yeah, enjoy this video, please. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let me show my sleeve. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so this is actually before the whole half shirt concept was born. I literally just put it on the mannequin because I hadn't decided what I wanted to do. And I start kind of playing around with the fit. I'm looking on Pinterest for ideas. And I'm kind of immediately drawn to the sleeve and how it can be transformed. And like, I was really feeling a poofy sleeve. Poofy sleeves are my thing and so i start playing with that i'm crumpling crumpling crump that's no that's definitely that's not a word um kind of like crinkling the fabric making these folds so that i later will just kind of you know tack in little spaces because i wanted to just really play with the fabric and that's definitely where this idea started like i said before the whole half shirt concept was born but i originally was planning on evening it out on both sides i was like oh, i'll just do have a cool button up shirt that you know has cool folds and texture to it but as you will see shortly I ultimately got kind of bored by that and I don't really know if it was like you know lack of motivation to make it even on both sides but I just I felt like it would be kind of weird to have a really like lumpy shirt on me essentially so I ultimately decided to first try cutting it into the half dress half shirt side um after I just like realized with the tacking of the shoulder that I think it would be too much on both sides. So this is then where I start to cut the left side to kind of make it, you know, a little more interesting. Um, just kind of that way I'm not wearing a gigantic oversized shirt. And I think at this point I definitely been drawn to the idea of keeping the collar. Um, I mean, obviously that was how I would secure it to the top of my body. And this definitely would have been doable if I would have kept with this idea. Um, I would have just had to like fit the dress in a bunch, obviously. But as I'm standing in the bathroom, I realize, what if I had just half a shirt? And here, literally in this video, this idea was born. And so I throw her back on the model and I completely chop off half the shirt, which was pretty scary because at this point I was like, please tell me I'm not going to have two failed um DIYs today and I actually like the more I just played with it I fell in love with it I ended up cleaning up that back line there to kind of match the fold in the shirt and I would just run it under the sewing machine to kind of like even that out so you don't have to worry about it later and that's ultimately it I kind of just cleaned up how the um, back piece sits so that it wasn't straight where you can see how curved it is there and that was pretty much the game from here on out was evening out any hems that I'd cut like uneven and sewing things so they look nice and flat and truthfully this is where I kind of like started playing with the sleeve and this truly was just a game of me pulling like folding fabric and playing with it until I like something that I saw and tacking it there so it was super easy to do um probably like I just think it adds a lot of interest. I could have easily played more with the volume, but ultimately I thought it was like, that way it's not too crazy of a look maybe for people who are already going to be very put off. Oh, and there's me falling because great look at me. But yeah, so the sleeve has a good amount of texture. I think at this point I had ended up folding it up more and um, actually adding more detail to it. So that way it'll like, you know, flounce more on my body than you, what you see here in frame. 
all right so that is all for this video thank you so much for watching again i'm sure it was like kind of a chop like i can't express to you enough how much this thing was just kind of literally stitched together as i saw something cool so there wasn't a lot of direction that's kind of why my voiceover was like and then I did this because I was just like, it was just going with the flow. It was feeling, it went off like a vibe for 30 seconds and then completely took a left turn. So I hope you liked it. I hope you like this idea. Please let me know your thoughts. I'm so curious because I'm like, I'm feeling like, I don't know. This kind of got me like excited. So, you know, we'll kind of see what happens. I did buy another button up, I think for the purpose of... DIYing so like let me know if you have another button up idea I could actually do the half shirt but now I feel like why would I need two half things you know that's kind of unnecessary but if you have another button up shirt idea please let me know because I'm pretty sure I bought another one it's probably more fitted than this one but still we'll work with it also I can go to a thrift store and get another one if we have cool ideas let's work on this together okay I'm getting way too excited this is abnormal I'm <laughs> I'm not normally excited. Okay, um, thank you so much for watching. I've said it a hundred times, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know anything you want to see in the future. Any pieces that you're like, what could you do with this piece? Or maybe if there's a piece that you have and you want to do something with it, but you're looking for ideas or something of the sort, um, feel free to chat below. And if there's something that I can kind of make a guiding video of, I'm much more of a think on the spot kind of person. Hence why this was born. But I'll give it a shot. I'll gladly do anything. I will try anything that is suggested or requested. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.